students line up. We thank you all for being here today. Just in a couple more minutes, all of our students will be coming up. We will begin our procession. But I ask you to remain quiet during the procession because our students have been practicing and we want to make sure that they, they do not get distracted. So make sure to honor the reverence of this mass and this ceremony.
The Gospel today invites us to be friends with Jesus, and we do that by keeping His commandments, remaining every day in Him and in His love for us. So let's now think about Jesus' love for us, how we want to respond to that love, not only toward Him, but toward our neighbor. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Thank 
Peter arrived, Cornelius greeted him. Then he sat at Peter's feet and began worshiping him. But Peter took hold of him and said, Stand up, I'm nothing more than a human. Then Peter said, God takes all people away, no matter where they come from. He's pleased with everyone who honors him and does the right thing. While Peter was still listening, the Holy Spirit entered the hearts of everyone who was listening. Some Jewish followers of the Lord had come with Peter, and, and they were su surprised that the Holy Spirit blessed even those who were not Jewish. They were known as Gentiles. The Jews heard Gentiles praising God. Peter said, these Gentiles have been blessed by, by the Holy Spirit, just like we have. No one would dare stop us from baptizing them. So Peter ordered the Gentiles to be baptized in the name of Jesus, and they asked him to stay on for a few days the word of the Lord.
that is real. The word of the Lord. Ice cream. Ice cream. 
Chicken fingers. Chicken fingers, okay. Bagel. Bagels, okay. There anybody else? Food, favorite food? Yeah. Buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken. Oh my gosh, we have quite a menu here. Pizza. Oh, I knew I was going to hear that. The pizza. Okay, one more over here. Fish. Fish? Dude, you feel good for you. French fries. French fries. Waffles. Okay, all right, all right, one more. Yes, we have a lot of Hot dog. Hot dog. All right, lots of preferences to feed the tummy. Okay, now let's talk about the soul. That's where God lives within us. When you were baptized many years ago, God established a little dwelling place in you. We call that the soul, okay? Now, what do you need when your soul is hungry to feed the soul? Go. Wine. Stay tuned. I don't know how your parents feel about that answer. Okay. And especially would you say if the wine is blessed? Good answer. Here we go. What, what do you need or what do you want to feed your soul? Bread. Bread that's blessed. Okay. What else? The Eucharist. Oh. Before we get to the Eucharist, let's talk about something else. How about when your mom and dad and others love you? When you, are, when you have love in your life, your parents or other people, your grandparents, other people love you and show you that love. That's kind of like God loving you through them, right? And that feeds the soul. How about when you pray? When is a good time to pray? At night. At night before you go to bed. That's a really good time to pray. When you're having food. When, right? You pray before you have your meal. You bless the food and you, you uh, then have your meal together. It's a good time to pray. A bar? A bar? A bar. <laughs> what was that? Tell me. Okay, we're really on this liquor. So when we pray, when people love us, when we pray, how about when we're able to listen? When God gives us help to listen to mom and dad, to the teacher, to other people in our lives. That's how God feeds our soul. We're able to listen and do our best in school and at home and everywhere. And when we're able to tell the truth when it's hard. And we're able to be patient when that's hard. And we're able to be kind and not mean when that's hard. But God gives us the help and we're ready, when we're ready to receive that help and act on it, God feeds the soul. But let's go back to those wonderful first two answers here. The best way God feeds our soul is what you're going to receive today. Jesus gives you not just a token or a card or something. He gives you himself. He gives you his bread that's blessed. And what would that be? Wine. The bread that's blessed would be? Food. Heavenly food. The bread from heaven. The body of Christ, which you're going to hear in a few moments. When we bless the bread, you receive it to the body of Christ, right? And how about if you take a sip from the chalice and that wine is blessed, what is that? It's the blood of Christ. The body of Christ and the blood of Christ. Jesus gives us himself. 
And that feeds our hungry souls for God and for God's love like nothing else. So children, we need food every day, don't we? We need food every day to feed the tummy, to give us energy, to help us be healthy every single day. But we also need food for the soul, prayer, love. Receiving love and giving love. And most especially, for the first time today, you're going to be receiving the body and blood of Jesus, which we heard was the Eucharist. And guess what? Every Sunday, we gather as a parish family to celebrate the Eucharist. And so this is the first of a whole lifetime of receiving the body and blood of Jesus as food for our souls. Can't you get it hungry for the soul? Yeah, you, I'm sure you're going to have a meal later on uh, to feed the tummy, but right now, we're going to get ready to feed our souls. Okay, children, thank you so much. You are great. You go back to your place. Thank you, children. to us. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick in our schools and in our families, that God will heal them and strengthen them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our loved ones who have died, Jesus has welcomed to heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who have no one to pray with. For all of those who have no one to pray for them, we now remember in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace between people of all religions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's conclude our universal prayers with the prayer that we hold here in honor of our Blessed Mother. This is the month of May, traditional devotion month for Our Lady. So let's call on her intercession to watch over our children as they receive Eucharist for the first time and all of us. So let's pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. To kindly be seated now as we offer our gifts, ushers, to come forward in the offering, please.
invite our gift bearers to meet Mrs. Kilroy at the gift table. Nolan Capron, Sadie Caulfield, Olivia Braley, Rachel Long, Paul Buccelli, Molly McMahon, Juliana Nastari, Mitchell C., and Cassandra Dorman. Right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, 
But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with passing joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they are Throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever.
This one's for you. When you thought I wasn't looking, I heard you say a prayer, and I learned that there is a God I could always talk to. When you thought I wasn't looking, I heard you thank God for the food on the table, and I learned to be grateful. When you thought I wasn't looking, I saw you give to people in need, and I learned how to share. When you thought I wasn't looking, 
I watched you bring me to church every week, and I began to feel like it was home. When you thought I wasn't looking, I felt you hug me when I said I was sorry, and then I'm unprepared. When you thought I wasn't looking, I saw you turn to God when you were sad, and I learned that we are never alone. When you thought I wasn't looking, I saw you volunteer to teach my CCD class, and I learned what it means to practice my faith. When you thought I wasn't looking, I looked at you and wanted to say, thanks for all the things I saw when you thought I wasn't looking. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life and the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food, through Christ our Lord. Just a few announcements as we conclude Mass uh, this afternoon. This coming Thursday, May 10th, uh, we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension of the Lord. It is a holy day of obligation. And Masses will be celebrated at OLA on Wednesday, the vigil, May 9th at 4 p.m. Here at St. Maria's, Thursday, May 10th at 7 a.m., Our Ladies at 9 a.m., and back here at 7 p.m. That's this coming week, the Feast of the Assumption of the Lord. And there will be a collection for our parishes taken up at all Masses. Mother's Day Remembrance envelopes will be sent to the, should be sent to the business office to place in the offertory basket. All envelopes collected will be placed on or near the altar. You can see some of them already at the foot of the altar. And the intentions for our mothers will be remembered at all Masses during the month of May. So please uh, participate in that. And in addition to the thanks uh, the two boys just gave, in that lovely reflection on you thought I wasn't watching. I'd like to thank also our catechists and our leaders in the faith formation program here at St. Maria's. So catechists, if you just raise your hands so we can acknowledge you catechists, particularly for our second graders. Thank you all so much.
Let Jesus be your friend. Stand with Jesus every single day and come and receive him in Holy Communion every week. Everyone, let's congratulate our children. Before we go, the pictures and off the celebrations today, there's another person here in the sanctuary who's going to receive a very special sacrament. And that would be about three weeks from yesterday. It will take place in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, when our Deacon Patrick, who's leaving us today, will be ordained to the priesthood. Isn't that wonderful?